grand jury today indicted two of the people named with Secretary of State Rebecca V. Hill her own on state corruption charges, but the federal case does not charge her. She claims that's a sign she'll soon be off the hook. News 13's Katie Kim is live in the newsplex. Diane V. Hill her own has maintained her innocence since the first charges were filed two years ago. The money was well spent. But the state and federal governments disagree. The $6 million in federal funds paid for voter education ads in 2004 and 2006. I'm Secretary of State Rebecca V. Hill Hidon. But a 2008 federal audit found big problems, which led to the state charges against V. Hill Heron, consultant Armando Gutierrez, and lobbyist Joseph and Elizabeth Kupfer. They allegedly stole and misused millions of dollars. It gets worse. A federal indictment released today makes new corruption charges against Gutierrez and Joseph Kupfer. The feds say the pair overbilled the state by more than two and a half million dollars for those commercials and pocketed that for their own use. V. Hill Heron is not named in the federal indictment. They couldn't find anything because there's nothing there. And she's confident she'll be cleared in the state case too. All the invoices are intact. And they do show that all the money was spent properly. And she thinks the others will also get off. Both the Kupfers and the Gutierrezes, they will be exonerated. Before this goes to trial, I, I'm almost positive of that. Now the special prosecutor just named to handle the state charges says even though the feds apparently don't think Vihil Heron committed a crime, that doesn't mean the state will drop its case. Back to you. Okay, Katie, Joseph Kupfer's one.